The Open Arts Objects Project from the Department of Art History at The Open University has a new series of films on critical terms. These take the form of a dialogue or discussion between two experts in the field. And how do the eggs that you've brought in relate to this concept? I thought these exemplify the idea of essentialism really well. From a 19th century point of view, when essentialism was really the way to think about the world, what happens when you have some cultural encounter? Critical terms are sometimes the hardest things to learn when studying art history. So the films really bring to life the terms. They look at the complex histories of the terms. I think what we should try and do ourselves when we talk about the concept is to probe beneath those kind of stereotypes and try and see some of the complexity, some of the nuances. And actually how art historians still today take different approaches to the terms. We need to be quite careful about differentiating or distinguishing between the sort of globalising processes of the 15th century and those of subsequent centuries right up to the present day. And it's that kind of specificity that we really need to bring out for art history. In these films, we use a number of works of art to illustrate how the term is used by art historians. I think that classicism is really this vision of ideal beauty about harmony and grace, and neoclassicism is an emphasis much more on purity, rigor, and the primitive. It's a, just a much more austere version of classicism. The films can be used by anyone who teaches art history, either at A-level or at university level, but also for those who are just interested in learning more about art history and the discipline. So I think a lot of what art history does is to think about who isn't being shown, who is not being represented, and why that might be. The critical term films are part of a broader mission of the art history department to widen participation in the field and to also make art history more accessible. The terms explored range from iconography and classicism to modernism, globalization, and even hybridity. And one of the most perfect examples of that in some ways is Mesoamerican feather work, producing works of art that have iconography that is definitely Christian. These are terms that you might find in other disciplines but are extremely applicable to art history. It shows how the discipline is actually very interdisciplinary. The term becomes more prevalent in the 18th and 19th century in the fields of zoology, botany. You have Charles Darwin, most famously, talking about the theory of evolution. The films make accessible quite complex terms, but also underline that these are still contested today and that they are still relevant for art history.